So, is the iPod Touch 6 Gen still worth buying in 2018? Hello everyone, Revac Tech here, and today I'm going to be telling you just that. So without further ado, let's begin. So, like I always do, let me start off with the specification. The iPod Touch 6th generation was released in July 15th, 2015, so this device is almost 3 years old, and when it was released, it was a quiet release. There was no keynote or any sort of announcement. Now, the actual specs of the device are an underclocked 1.4 GHz Apple A8 system on a chip with 1 GB of RAM, and has 16, 32, 64, and 120 GB of storage. But in July of 2017, Apple only sells the 32 and 128 gigabyte configuration. Now the camera quality is okay, but here's the specs and some example footage. So the camera is 8 megapixel, 2.4 aperture that can shoot 1080p at 30 frames per second. The front camera isn't that good also, but it has a 1.2 megapixel that can shoot 720p video. The display is also good, it is a 4 inch LCD display with the resolution of 640 by 1136 and the PPI of 326. The battery is probably the worst thing of this device, it is a 1043 milliamp hour cell. It's not very good, I've had to replace my iPod over 20 times because of this battery. It seriously isn't that good, you usually have to charge it 3 or more times a day. This device comes in silver, gold, space gray, pink product red and blue. There's a lot of colors to choose from, but I have the silver color. Now this device has 802.11 AC and Bluetooth 4.1. Still very good. So that's really specs out of the way. Now let me talk to you about this device and how it's been over the past few years. So as I said earlier, this device has an A8 system on a chip, which means it is similar to an iPhone 6. And the iPhone 6 is basically an iPhone 5S. They are the same in specs. Since the iPod Touch 6 is un underclocked, it will be very similar to an iPhone 5S in performance. So if you have an iPhone 5S and you want to get an iPod Touch 6 for gaming or intensive stuff, you'll get the exact same performance as an iPhone 5S. So here are some examples of gaming on the iPod Touch. Notice that there are some hiccups and stutters and also it takes a bit to load. So let's play the example. And here are some benchmark scores also.
Now as we speak iOS 11 is the main iOS and isn't that good on A7A and A8 devices. So if you buy an iPod Touch 6 from Apple it will be running iOS 11. And performance can be worse but it's not like what it used to be when it was shipped with iOS 8.4 or even iOS 10. Now I really love this iPod but there are some things that are going to probably hold you back from buying this device such as battery life. You'll probably need to charge it more than twice a day and since this device has an Apple A8 chip it will probably run iOS 12 and that will most likely kill the battery even more and make performance worse. I'm saying this because iOS 11 isn't the greatest iOS ever. It's had a lot of problems with batteries and speed. I do not recommend updating to iOS 11. I do recommend staying on iOS 10 or earlier if you can. Now as a personal music player it's very good but if you have Bluetooth headphones the battery is probably going to die fast. I know this from experience. I have Apple AirPods and I did nothing but play music offline and the battery ruined from 100 to 50 percent in just two hours. So I do recommend using wired headphones to prolong the battery life. This screen after a while does scratch very easily and is noticeable when viewing content. So I do recommend a screen protector to prevent those scratches and overall design of this iPod is very good. I've had this replacement iPod since October of 2016 and has no chips or dents in the body. And here's a speaker test. It's also a very tinny sounding. So I do think if you're thinking of buying an iPod Touch 6 gen, I do not recommend it anymore, sadly. I say this for a few reasons. The iPod Touch 6 gen has terrible battery life and has the same performance as a 4 year old device and there's better options for a cheaper price point, such as the iPhone SE. You can find them for cheap and you do not need a contract for them. And the iPhone SE is the same size as the iPod Touch 6 but has double the performance of the iPod Touch because it's using the Apple A9 chip found in the iPhone 6S and iPhone 6S Plus. So no, the iPod Touch 6 Gen is not worth buying in 2018, and it's only a matter of time before Apple discontinues it. Alrighty, well, there's my review on the iPod Touch 6 generation, and is it worth buying in 2017? So, like I said, the answer is no. But hopefully you do enjoy this video, and if you did, please smack that like button, follow my Twitter and Instagram links will be in the description, and tell me in the comments below is this video helpful? Well, as always, this is Revac Tech, signing out.